Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Podcast. I'm Terry Morrow. And I'm Katherine Haleko. As parents and parenting writers, we can't help but see everything through a parenting lens. But as our kids have become adults, we find ourselves more interested in getting caught up on movies and streaming than on going over the same parenting topics over and over. So since we're pretty sure we can find parenting wisdom anywhere, we're going to talk about what we're watching, what we thought about it, and maybe what we can learn from it if only what not to do. Watch and listen along, and let's all make like we're doing something important for our families. Each Wednesday, we're bringing you a watch or rewatch of an older entertainment property, and for this week of July 8th, we are kicking it off with Lost, which originally premiered almost 20 years ago on September 22nd, 2004. We have to go back. <laughs> a joke that you will not get for quite some time, but okay. I have actually watched all of Lost the first time through and enjoyed it a great deal, even as the general overall consensus on it went down like a broken airplane. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I liked it all the way to to the apparently controversial ending. It did meander quite a bit toward the middle because it had the misfortune of being a huge hit And so ABC wanted it just to run forever. And Mm -hmm. it's like, well, you know, you set up the chessboard and then you say, just just move things around for a little while. Right. Okay. Uh, So we're going to watch this in in increments. And at some point you say, oh, enough of this. We will bail. Mm -hmm. Um, But for the moment, the first dozen episodes, I think, are pretty fantastic. This pilot is sort of accepted as... um, pretty spectacular Mm -hmm. and also the two parts of it being the most expensive pilot ever um pilot in terms of the uh of the actual episodes not in terms of the actual pilot who hey it's greg grunberg i didn't know greg grunberg was in this show he's not (laughs) (laughs) not for long (laughs) yes the actual pilot was about two minutes but the the two episodes together um, anyway, so you just get plunged right into this thing. What did you think of it? Well, I regret to say that it made me sick. Oh, no. <laughs> Not, I was wondering if there would be shaky cam. There was shaky cam. So oh, the, baby. The, the gore I can handle. <laughs> The guy There's, getting sucked into a plane engine, a okay. Yeah, the jungle. No, no, exactly. Running through the jungle, okay. turbulence. Uh, whew, <laughs> it's rough. So I, I'm going to yeah. stick with it. Um, okay. I did have to, you know, avert my eyes for some of okay. it. But yeah. I'm hoping that after this initial bit, huh. it gets better. Question. There's mark? a fair amount of running around for a lot of it. Okay. So we'll see. We'll 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 get through the pilot. And I mean, as it goes along, there are more and more flashbacks and the flashbacks are not that way. Right. But I mean, in a jungle with some unidentified monster. Yeah. You're always going to have certain amounts of panicked running, but I think you could close your eyes during it probably right. with no ill effect. That's So yeah, I was thinking about that. I was wondering if it was going to be a problem. Um, yeah, I might try to your general distress. Right, exactly. <laughs> I, I may try, um, like watching it on my phone or something. Maybe, That's maybe a like idea. a small screen will, will be better <laughs> for me. Oh, no. So, but you know, I've, I've been curious about it for so long. I didn't yeah. watch it at the time. I had very small children, um, right. but I knew people were talking about it, um, and it's also, it was one of those things where, like, I felt, you know, you have to start at the beginning, and if you don't, yes. you know, you'll never, yes. ever, I mean, as it is, you'll barely know what's going on, right? Um, yes. So. You, yeah. It's, it's a while before you know what's going on, possibly the entire time before right. you know what's going on. Right. But exactly. But if you turned in, a, turned in in the middle, you would be in a, in an ep, like, a, a mediocre episode that would not make you excited about it so right um i do watching it again now i do kind of love the way it just man it just starts mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hang on we're going <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot in that first episode yes a lot of wtf going on 
And there are a lot of characters in this thing, and we didn't even meet all of them or or put a name on all of them in this. I think we got like about 10 seconds of Sawyer lighting a cigarette or something. Okay. And he turns out to be a very pivotal character. Saeed, I think, just moved a heavy object. Um, right. So uh, Jin and Son were talking in Korean, so... You wonder what's going to go on with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's like these people. And there's the all... man and the young boy. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and then there's uh, the, the Terry O'Quinn just kind of walking around looking mysterious and put the orange with an orange peel in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Way to creep there's everyone a... out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But just the the sort of visceral chaos of that scene yes. on the beach with not i mean you've you've the worst possible thing in the world has happened you've crash landed onto an island and then the wreckage just keeps attacking you right you can't, can't even just stop there's fuel spraying around there's large pieces falling on people there's like i said i, I have to look away i know that guy getting sucked into the engine is coming up mm-hmm. um and just it's like it's still Maybe we should move down the beach a little bit. Right. <laughs> I know. If we could get away from this this just just horrible hulk of ay, doom. <laughs> oh, doom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love the I was noticing particularly the camera angles this time in that you know, you have Jack running to the beach and he looks one way and it's just nothing but peaceful sand and waves. And you see that from his point of view. And then he turns the other way and you see him. So you don't Mm -hmm. see what he's seeing. You start to hear screams, but you don't see it for a little while until then all of a sudden they flip and it's just hell. Yeah. And then they do it again a couple of times. I know with the... Well, they do it with the... um, When the pilot is up, yes it, like you has see been... the pilot reflected in the water right before you see him actually in the tree and they i think the same thing with the cockpit they're running and they they when they find it you see their faces before you right. see it i i believe at that point i had my eyes closed okay running <laughs> <laughs> through the jungle to get there yes. um you did have have Kate and Charlie chatting about his mediocre pop career. Right. Way. Yes, but, I did. Uh, I did watch that. <laughs> that part was. I was like, "This is from an entirely another show. What right. is this?" Yes. <laughs> Let's Mm-mm. have that before we have the the climbing up into the cockpit at an angle. Hmm. A lot of set pieces, which I didn't understand. Like, if the plane wouldn't it be nose down? I don't know. Maybe it did go nose down and then flop. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I said the same thing to my husband because he watched it. We watched yeah. it together, and I I'm think like, the what? nose, the front of the plane, at, came off, and so then at that point it could land probably in any way. Yeah, yeah. It was no longer nose first. Right. Um, at that point, it was a falling piece of metal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the first first parenting advice to be gleaned from this uh, episode is do not ever let your child watch it because you will never get them on an airplane. <laughs> I mean, never mind the wreckage, the, the the flashback to the turbulence and people flying around the cabin and all right. that. No, no, thank you. I yeah. will stay here. Right. <laughs> I personally have no more intention to fly, so it's okay. But <laughs> that is pretty uh, yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Um, and well, it it's interesting that, you know, Jack is the POV character, at least right yes. now. Um, yes. And he's very parental as a doctor. Yes. You know, he's yes. telling everyone what to do. And it's interesting that, um, you know, that is such a position of respect and yeah and power you know as soon as somebody finds out you're a doctor it's like okay well he's gonna he's gonna fix everything (laughs) you know (laughs) he's gonna deal with this guy's torn off leg and this uh, pregnant woman and this lady who's not breathing and this you know lifeguard who's (laughs) terrible at his job like he's just gonna come in he's very good at gathering pens (laughs) right (laughs) 
And at some point, he's counted how many people and how many hours it's yes, been. You know, yes. he's gathered information, which we didn't even see him doing. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. He's quite impressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it's because you're a doctor and sometimes it's just because you're the guy who comes in there and, and takes charge right. of people who are just going. Who are just wandering shock, around in a stupor. Yeah. 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 Um, in hellish chaos. Yeah. But uh, he's just like having her sew up his side. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll put vodka on it. Right. <laughs> Have you ever sewed? <laughs> I made curtains. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I used a sewing machine. Right. That's fine. You can do it. <laughs> but I guess it tells us something about her, too, that she says, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, shaky cam there, but it got to look away. Uh, yeah. Well, they, and they didn't really show that much of it. <laughs> they didn't. They Just mostly, the thought of it. Yeah. They mostly showed him, <laughs> him wincing, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that, that com uh, complete focus and control during chaos, whether it's because you're a doctor, whether it's because you're a control freak, I don't know, but it does feel very parenting. As yeah. you said, like you are the one called upon to figure it out for everybody else, uh -huh. and they are all looking to you, and you cannot panic. Right, you have to be like, "Oh, this is fine." Um, right, we got and, this. You know, and there are some times when you can do it, and it's such a rush when you uh -huh. come into a situation. And you're like, "Okay, you do this, you do that," or then right. it's like you feel like superhuman, and then there are other times when there's a monster. <laughs> and yes, you know, a force of anarchy that you cannot see. Can't see and it. And the best you can do is dive into some bushes. Right. It's like, <laughs> and y'all are on your own. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have, you know, there are days and there are days. Right. We all have those days when, when we can make everything okay. Yeah. But, i.e. Mm-hmm. I liked the thing he said about, I mean, it's, it's, it's scripted BS because human brains don't work this way. But still, I like the idea of count to five, let the fear, you know, be afraid for five seconds and right. then do what you need to do. Right. Um, I do always liked with my kids the counting. So there uh -huh. is something comforting about that. Right. You know, count to 10 and then you need to make a transition. Instead of just immediately saying, well, just, just get out of what you were that and then right. do this. Yeah. So that is interesting. Mm -hmm. It is more a psychological detail of Jack than it is a, a realistic thing to pick up. <laughs> yeah. When you Counting. have somebody's spinal fluid <laughs> just <laughs> pouring all over the place. I it to five and then I sewed her up. And it then I fixed fine. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. Mm -hmm. Um but, uh, yeah, but counting, counting in some form I do recommend as a yes. parenting tactic. Right. You, whether you're counting to yourself to get over that feeling of anger or you're counting to your kid to help them through a transition. Uh -huh. You know, I, there, was, there was like one, two, three magic was a big thing when I, my kids were yeah. like, did you uh -huh. have that book? And three never did it. But if I counted to ten, my son could transition. Uh -huh. And I'm like, whatever it takes – Give him the extra seven seconds. Where are you going? You know, it's, right. it's not yeah. important. If it works, it's like, well, if it's not, if you don't snap two and three, we're going to have a whole thing. Yeah. Well, I'll give him 10. It'll be right. Fine. And also you've got to be, if you're going to make that threat, boy, you better be ready. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> to right. Follow through. Yeah. Yeah. It was a timeout chair, which is sort of like, sort of like what the count is in, in a gentleman in Moscow, but yes. it's a very endless one. Yes. Anyway, so other than the shaky cam, this was this was kind of kind of scary fun. Mm -hmm. I know some of the things that are coming up, right, for the different characters, but it was sort of fun to see them just shorthand introduced in this, and go, oh yeah, that guy, right, oh, yeah, that guy, <laughs> yeah. Oh, she was here at the beginning. I don't remember she was here at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> If she wasn't there at the beginning, how would she get there? Yes. There's also a very nice dog who looks like 
he's been freshly groomed mm -hmm. uh, running around the island. Yes. Looking at Jack. Are we meant to think that the dog was on the island already, or we just don't I know yet? I tell you. Right. But then that would be a spoiler. Okay. Pretty sure next episode we find out about the dog. Okay. The dog has been mentioned, but it's a good-looking dog. Yes. So, All right, I will. I will hold. <laughs> hold, hold your out. dog thoughts. Yes. Okay. The uh, the sewing kit surgery made me think of how uh, I always used to have alcohol swabs and band aids in my purse at all times from when my son picked his skin open. Mm -hmm. you know, it's good to be prepared. Right. Never occurred to me to have a sewing kit in case it was a big cut and I needed to, you know, stitch. Do you think a li a needle from a travel sewing kit could actually <laughs> pierce skin? <laughs> I'm not sure it could even pierce fabric. Yeah. But <laughs> And would you have enough thread for that that cut was like six inches long? <laughs> and there were two of them, weren't there? It was an, a nasty injury. Yeah. Um and would vodka actually keep you from screaming? I don't know. If you drank Well, he just it, counted yeah. to five and then he didn't scream. <laughs> yes, yeah. We're gonna learn more about that fella. <laughs> but <laughs> we will be getting the second half of the pilot next week, which uh, of the of the pilot episodes. Right. The pilot is still in one piece, but quite dead. And we will see you back here tomorrow for our weekly roundabout roundup, including the library find of the week, the segment that is not going away. We still will talk about books. Thank you for listening. You can find all our episodes on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can find recaps, links, and an opportunity to comment on our website at parentingroundabout.com. You can also talk to us on our Facebook page, on Instagram, or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash mamatude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we've talked about over the years. 